Hi. Um, I'm going to do another video on topic 6.8 and do standard uh, enthalpy of combustion as well real quick so that I can give you a trick for House's Law, which is our last unit or our last topic for this unit. And that is the next topic. So that's what I'm going to make next. So I'll see you in a minute in that video. Um, let me share the screen real quick. Um, just so that that next video can be shorter. I figured I would just make this one here. Uh, oh, goodness, I hate it when I have to. Hmm. Okay, uh, shoot. There we go. Okay, this is taken directly from your notes. I don't know what page. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to know, it, it might be. I know you guys probably don't look at your notes too much. It's around page 17. No, it's not. Yeah, page 16. No, it's not. Page 15. If you want that, page 15 of your notes. I am here. Okay. So just as we had talked about standard, right? Um, that means forming one mole from elements in their standard states. What we have is a standard enthalpy of combustion. And um, that means we need to form one mole. No, 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 no. We need to combust one mole. Combust, right? Recall that means react with oxygen. One mole of the substance. Simple as that. This is literally going to be like a few more minutes. Um, and here's an example. Notice we, in this one, combusted one mole of ethane. combusted um, to produce the two carbon dioxides in the three waters. The process released this many kilojoules of energy per mole of the reaction or per mole of ethane per one and a half moles of oxygen per two moles of carbon dioxide per three moles of water. So it's per mole of the ethane or how the reaction is written um, and that's it, guys. I mean, it's really that simple. Um, it's useful to remember that compounds containing some combina combination of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, when completely combusted, produce carbon dioxide and water only. Okay. So if we were to write the standard enthalpy um, of combustion of C5H12, we would have to ensure that only one mole of the C5H12 was present in our equation. That would give us the five carbon dioxides and H2O, we would assume in its gaseous phase, six, that's 10 plus um, six, oxygens and that would be an H right there. Okay. And we could do that for all of these, right? If it was aluminum, the Al plus O2 yields Al2O3, right? And we would have to get that balance so that there was only a one here. So it'd probably be like a quarter three, that might be a half, or three halves. No, 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 no. It's one of three, yeah. And that's probably three there, two there, maybe one there. Oh, that doesn't work. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to cut, do the other one, and um, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I don't want to do it right now, to be honest with you, because um, there's more to the story. I don't, I don't need to worry about that. I mean, but if you want to, there's a three there, right? There's a three there. There's two there. There's a four there. So I guess you have to divide everything by four, right? 
um, divided by four, divided by four, divided by four, such that you only had one aluminum, right? And I guess you would have three quarters O2, and you would have one half A L2 O3, okay? That's actually it. Um, like I said, I want you to, if you see um, the standard enthalpy, sorry, standard enthalpy of combustion, it would relate to a process as such or as such, and you would be able to write the um, appropriate equation for that. I just need to make sure you could do that. I'd also just like to go ahead and say, since this one is so short, there's a standard enthalpy of neutralization, right? And that would be when we have the strong acid reacting with the strong base. Um, actually, I just went in and added some information to the sheet, so you probably already knew this, but we would have the H plus the OH yielding water, right? Um, enthalpy of combustion, right? Enthalpy of um, solution, forming a solution. Um, enthalpy of formation, right? Lots of those values. All right, thank you. See you soon for Hess's Law.